Yo everyone, what's going on? As you probably saw in the thumbnail and title description, you know that this video is all about breathing some life back into your Dyson vacuum. Now I haven't actually done this, so I'm gonna be going on the journey with you, uh, but I'm just gonna talk you through sort of how I got here because, you know, we bought this Dyson vacuum cleaner a couple of years ago, I think about three and a half years now, it's been going strong. And I kind of knew that like even back then, the Dyson vacuums were kind of becoming like the apple of vacuums very consumeristic, like really good products, but pretty consumeristic. And one of my biggest worries was that we would shell out like, I don't even know, maybe six, 700 bucks at the time for the vacuum. Uh, I was kind of worried that we'd be doing that every two to three years. You know, it's a great product, but I don't wanna have to buy the same thing over and over again. So this vacuum, I just pull it up here, is now on its, uh, on its last legs. You know, we'll do a clean, and the thing only runs for like a couple minutes. I just had a look at the Dyson website. Now I run this thing on max, you can run it on max and normal, but we run this on max and uh, even on the website, it's only quoting like six minutes of usage. I swear now it's a lot, lot less. You know what, before we uh, look at anything else, let's just run a test and see how long this baby runs for on max. All right, so I'm gonna start the timer and start running this on max. No way, <laughs> no way. All right, so I did like, I touched it a little bit before, but 27 seconds. Even if I'm being generous here, I just took this off the charger before, I might've given it one or two quick spritzes. We're talking like under, under a minute's usage. So yeah, that's probably why it's been like a noticeable concern. It's actually, we've been complaining about this for like uh, six months now. It's just been getting progressively worse and worse. But to see that it only runs for like a minute really drives home the point that this thing is just absolutely hosed at the moment. So you know, we all love sweet tech purchases. I jumped onto the uh, the local retailers for Dyson models and I started to have a look at the new one. You know, I had a good run out of this a couple years. And uh, you know, I was kind of okay with shelling out some cash for it. So I had a look at the other models I've just got off to the side here. So to get, this is the V6. I think it was just like the plain V6. There's a V7, 8, 10, 11. So there's like four models out now. But just having a look at the, uh, the pricing, it's like maybe four or 500 for the seven. Uh, 800 for the 8, 900 for the 10, depending on what models you get. The 11s, we're talking like a grand, 1200 bucks. So they're really getting up there. And I was, uh, you know, I kind of was like, oh, okay, maybe we'll just go one of the mid-range models. But then I had a thought about it and there's actually nothing wrong with this vacuum cleaner. It still does everything it can do, but the battery is just the problem. Uh, now, this doesn't have a rechargeable battery. You know, it's kind of like stuck in there. I think some of the new models do have rechargeable batteries or they ship out with two batteries. And you know, the battery life on some of the new models is a lot better than six minutes or one minute that this thing's pulling. But you know, if I could somehow just breathe some new life into this, then you know, that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, guess what? I jumped on Amazon, saw that like the number one thing being sold in the vacuum cleaner department was replacement Dyson batteries for these old V6s and V7s. So I've ordered one, where is he? Here we go, this is what it looks like. Uh, there's heaps of different batteries. There's like, uh, there's literally like 10, 20 different ones. I'll leave some links below for you to check them out. This one, I think has slightly more milliamps than this one. I think it was like a 3000 or 2800. 4,000 I reckon's on the sticker. Mm. Now I reckon these third party batteries are pretty dodgy by nature, but you know, if it buys me another six to 12 months on this guy, then I'm totally, totally happy with it. Um, so yeah, I've never done this before, but you just need to unscrew some stuff and we can get uh, this bad boy in here. All right, so hopefully you're really getting the sense that I've never done this before because I keep hitting some potholes. But I just had a look at the screwdrivers and you're gonna need something uh, small, like from a set like this. And there's only two screws uh, that you need to look at. Once you take this sort of uh, barrel off here, there's a screw down here just where the battery is. And then there's one screw at the back there. So I'm just gonna take these out and uh, we'll see if this battery comes out. Now, I'm mainly making this video uh, not really to show you like how to change a battery or anything, but it was more like, you know, my mind kind of just went to buying a new, a whole new Dyson. Uh, Cause you know, getting new, shit is, getting new shit is cool, but spending money ain't cool. Save your dollars, you know? What is going on with this screw?
just shake the thing, eh? All right, so in theory, this battery should just, voila, it comes out. Look at that. Really gotta keep these screws separate so I don't stuff it up. All right, so let's whack in the new battery. Just pop these two screws back in. All right, so we got the battery in there. Let's give it a quick squirt. Ooh, it's working. All right, so obviously I haven't charged this battery, uh, but let me just plug it back in. And we'll do a quick little run test to see how much uh, how much battery we're getting straight out. I'll then do a full charge and we'll do uh, you know a test on that. All right, let's go. at that. You know, I'll be a little bit generous here, let's just say three minutes. So out of the box, uh, this thing shipped with three minutes of battery. If I say I was generous, the old battery is getting like a minute at most. I'm gonna do a full charge of this, we'll do another test, I'll come back. And yeah, I'll give you my final thoughts on everything. Now I thought I'd just come down here, sort of like Gorilla style and show you. This is the original Dyson charger, and we'll just plug it in to charge this. I just realized it's gonna take like five hours to charge this thing or however long it takes. But you're still getting that red indicator. So I'll just mark the time now. It's 2.40, I'll uh, come check on this every half hour and we'll see when it's done. All right, well it's 5.40 now, so it's been exactly three hours I've been checking on it. The blue light has just switched off, so it should be good to go. All right, sweet, so everything's fully charged now. It took about like three hours to charge this, which is actually not too bad. I think that's what the original one uh, used to take to charge. But now I'm gonna burn it all the way to zero. So let's start this test and uh, see how long the new battery is gonna last for. Look at that, smack bang on seven minutes. Now that's on uh, that's on max. I think I, I turned it around a few times to show you. Uh, but yeah, the Dyson, the original battery claims six minutes. And with this third party replacement battery, we're getting seven minutes. So I'm very, very happy with that. And uh, what experience this whole thing's been, you know, I started at the beginning of the week looking at Dyson's going, you know, I'm gonna be into this for like seven, 800 bucks for one of those like V8s or V10s. Um, you know, I probably wouldn't have gone on the top end because like a grand for a vacuum cleaner in this day and age is just crazy. But I was looking, I was looking down the barrel of like 800 bucks for 40 bucks or $42, whatever this cost delivered, free delivery on Amazon, a whole new life breathed into it. Super, super happy. And uh, you know, hopefully I get another year or two out of this. Uh, might have to replace the battery one more time. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we've successfully replaced the battery on this Dyson. And uh, yeah, I really think this unit, I don't know if new Dysons have been fixed, but the only two issues I ever had with it was that you had to hold the trigger down the whole time. I couldn't just like click it in and let it run. And uh, I don't know why these weren't interchangeable, these batteries. If you could just fix those two things, this would have been so, so good. And you know, the fact that it's held in place with just two screws, man, you're telling me that Dyson, like the innovation company, that like created this sort of like a uh, turbine model or whatever you want to call it, all the crazy fans, all that sort of stuff. You're telling me they couldn't just have some little click click thing here. That, that sort of shit really annoys me. Like it would have been so much easier to just sell the replacements. I probably would have bought the $100 Dyson battery if they had it for this model. But you know, since they locked it down straight to the third party action, we go. But there we go, that's the Dyson done and dusted. But like I said in the uh, video description, I just wanted to talk about something else for a little bit and uh, I'm sure only 10 to 12 people in this world are really gonna care about this topic. But if you are a true Phoenix Tech fan, fan of the channel, then I've got some news for you. See, I've been thinking about this for a while, for uh, I think in the back of my mind, like three to six months, but really the last one or two months I've been racking my brain. I don't wanna change the name of the channel. Uh, I started this channel like a year ago and I really wanted to come up with some cool name, but I couldn't think of anything back then. So I just went with like my old gamer tag and Chuck Tech at the end of it. And uh, I think uh, I've been looking down the, uh, the barrel of some pretty good uh, like possibilities that I can do here. 
And I just wanted to come up with something that married uh, like what I sort of do, the reviews that I do here. I wanted to do the like photography and videography side of things, but I didn't want to pigeonhole myself too much in the creative end. I want to do like as many reviews as I do that stuff. But I didn't want to pigeonhole myself on the uh, on the tech side of things either by calling myself like a tech channel or something. So like honestly, like if you ever had to come up with a business name or anything like that, it's just so mentally exhausting coming up like how do you brand yourself and I finally landed on something uh, I think I'm gonna toy around with it a little bit more I'm gonna get some assets made maybe a logo and if I really like how everything's going then I'm gonna commit to it uh, so the name that I've come up with is the Nat Cave my name's Nathan uh, so that's the sort of thing that I want to go with and I figured it works for a couple reasons because like I'm always in this room sort of tinkering around with all my sort of stuff and uh, I think it's gonna it's gonna let me keep doing reviews. I can go out there and do photography and come back to the Nat Cave and get things done. So tell me what you think about the name. If you uh, like it or hate it, still still up for a little bit of debate. But if you saw some of the shockers that I was dealing with before, then I'm pretty excited about this name. So look, hopefully you've learned something here. Maybe you're fixing a Dyson today. Maybe you've got some other piece of technology that might just need a new battery to breathe some life into it. But definitely go out there, do some research, see if you can fix some of those old goods save that money in your pocket for some new awesome stuff you don't always have to go out and uh, spend where you don't need to as always thanks for sticking around to the end of the video and i'll catch you on the next one